Hi guys and welcome to this week's weekly lesson. In this week's lesson we're going to be discussing downhill bunker lies. Obviously last week we discussed uphill bunker lies um, and we're going to discuss the differences between the two. This one is considerably more difficult so it's going to require a lot more skill and a lot more understanding of what needs to be done. So first things first, when you're on this lie, it's very opposite to the uphill bunker lie. Uh, on the down slope, the ball is going to tend to come out a little bit lower with a lot less spin. So like last week where we took more or less loft and used a pitching wedge, this week you're going to try and grab the highest lofted club in your bag, which in this case today for me is a 60 degree wedge. And you're going to want to be having that club nice and open. So for the setup, it's going to be the opposite of the uphill lie. We're going to be all our weight on our left side. Make sure that the, the shoulders are facing with the slope, not against the slope. So you can see the slope is this way. So you're going to have your left shoulder slightly more down. Ball is going to be just forward of center. Nice wide stance. Really open club face. So that's the basic setup. From here, what you're going to try and feel is you want to feel like you're swinging sort of more up and down. So a lot steeper with that golf club. You don't want to be going too flat because the ball is a little bit lower than you but also you need to get back down to the ball so you're really going to feel like the club's traveling straight down when you're coming down on your on your downswing so nice wide setup pretty much all your weight's going to be on your left side be aware of what's behind you so i have water behind me on this shot i want to make sure that i don't go in there i know it's going to roll out after i hit this so i'm going to play out to the right a little bit more because i've got a little bit more space and that's just going to ensure that if i don't catch it perfectly I'm going to make sure that I'm not in the water. So one thing here is you've got to stay on your left side and you want to give it as much speed as you can with your right hand and maintain that club face open. Let's give that a try. So yeah, it's landed pretty much pin high and rolled about 20 foot past, but a very good result. And the most important thing there is I really made sure that I held that club face open. I hit down really hard and I hit about a half an inch behind the ball with a lot of speed. It popped up nicely, it didn't get any spin because of the slope, but it's still a good result. My ball's still okay, it's just over the green. And I can get it up and down there for two shots. And at least I'm not in the water or I haven't left it in the bunker. And if we do make that mistake, it's gonna add to a lot of big numbers on the scorecard where we wanna try and keep all those big numbers off. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next week.